Jordan get more snaps than usual on Saturday? Oh, it was awesome. I think uh, the box score, uh, I don't think was correct for his number of tackles. I counted <laughs> five, but I uh, can't really do much there. So uh, it was pretty awesome to see him uh, starting to make a name for himself out there on special teams and be a guy you can really rely on in a special teams game, which I really like. And uh, a lot of our families from the East Coast, we had uh, your cousins, a couple of family members there, so it was nice for them to see Jordan play well. Graham obviously has done a very good job in the yourself and you ran the starting lineup. Is there lessons you learned that you pass on to him to try to help him get things going? He's in a slightly different spot being a not a lineman. Yeah, I know uh, at a skill position it might be harder to break through. Um, but uh, we're just telling him to persevere, just keep your head down, keep working. He's done a really good job of that. He's one of the hardest workers I know. And uh, he's kind of a psycho doing what he needs to. Uh, kick off, he's relentless, and uh, hopefully one day he'll break into defense and be able to play there. We'll see. So was it just the starters who didn't practice today? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Some really critical two deep guys. Uh, Monet and uh, Mo in practice today. Yeah, mostly just the starters. What are your plans for Saturday? Saturday? Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be weird. Uh, I'm not playing, but uh, probably watch some football games, order like a feast from Pizza House or Cottage Inn or something, take a nap. But uh, it'll be cool. We got practice Sunday, so get to bed early. And, uh, don't eat too much pizza. <laughs> yeah, get ready to work next week, so that's all. Coach, hand out whistles to all you guys? Uh, yeah. Just took him from the equipment room. They had a, I, when I walked in, it was about 10 minutes to practice. They had two or three boxes laid out, like they've been ravaged. So uh, a few guys wanted to get the four coach on done today. I wish someone could capture a picture of Demonte Thomas. He had the old coach Harbaugh with him on the team. This is pretty funny. Yeah. You know, just talk about where you guys are in the defense, obviously it's the midway point. You, you look at a few games in the season, you guys are giving up with some big rushing games. It seems like that's really solidified these past few games. I think uh, it's just playing games in Coach Brown's system, getting our gap fits right, and uh, everyone playing with better technique and uh, really buckling down in their own position. If everyone does their job, uh, there's, not really, there's no real excuse to really give up a point or give up a big run or a long pass. So I think everyone's taking more personal responsibility, but I think we still have ways to go in terms of perfecting our game and uh, being the defense we want to be at the end of the season. I mean, we're at the halfway point. We can go either way. We can get better or we can get worse. And we have to work to get better every day. What was that film room like uh, looking at that Rutgers game? Obviously, when you look at it statistically, it's one of the better performances you'll see. Two first downs, obviously, late in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. um, it was pretty awesome. You know, It's a great game like that. Uh, get all the guys in. All the guys who work just as hard as the starters the other week and may not be able to get the time to get their reward of playing a game. And uh, Rutgers, Power 5 team in the Big Ten, to do that someone like that is pretty awesome. And uh, you know, it's a really gratifying experience to see your defense play like that. When, it, when a team gets beat like that, they'll often just throw the tape out and not watch it. Is it almost the same sort of thing for winning that way, that you can't take too much from it because it was so one-sided? Um, you know what, maybe if we had a game next week, we might have thrown the tape out. But uh, So there's always stuff to learn from. You always make mistakes. They did break some plays on us. Jet sweep at the beginning of the game. Got eight yards. Uh, tight zone. Uh, got seven yards, I believe. There's a lot of things we can correct to make sure we're playing lights out. And uh, there were some poor rotations, I believe. Uh, there were some coverage mix-ups that we got covered. And, uh, you know, uh, that's where you got to critique from your play that game. And uh, while they were in it, they were playing hard. They were playing fast. Rutgers is a, is a bad team, I think. They just got a poor draw that night. And I'll be interested to see how they play against Illinois this week. Watch that tape for upcoming game against Illinois the week after. So.